All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. This is going to be the last and final series of the Snapper Big Six Ninja Highback uh, Restyle and Restoration. We are going to service it and call it a day. Now, if you guys remembered, during the restoration, we took off the blade, took it down to the bare metal, painted it, and we sharpened it. So what we only have to do is change the oil, put a new air filter in it. This thing starts on the first pull, and the spark plug looks really new. So we're not, I'm not even going to crack that open and just check the gap. We're just going to let it go as is. So yes, yeah, so let's get this off. So obviously this thing is running. So we want to get the oil nice and hot. Now let's just see if on the dipstick it says how much oil. So remember, some of them are labeled. Okay, this one isn't labeled. But I do know this takes 20 ounces. So we'll stick my fill tube because we're going to be using my electric sucker. I remember I got the one that has the kill switch it's right there stick it in there and start sucking that just flows right out this is going to be in real time, this oil change. This isn't going to be in uh, time lapse. You guys have an idea of how fast this pump works. Yeah, so this is going to be shot in real time. Um, not time lapse. You guys can see how quick this thing sucks it down. And spill free. Less than 20 bucks off of eBay. One of the best investments I ever made. My plan is to get like a power washer. Um, like scrap power washer and then mount it to the power washer I could just wheel it all around. But as you can see, it's already sucking so you just gotta play with the level. And then remember, turn it on its third wheel to go towards the dipstick. We are done. Uh-oh. Take this out. Take our dipstick. We are going to wheel it over. Alright, so if you guys remember, they have this paint can at Home Depot, measures everything in ounces. So 20 ounces of 30 weight oil, I buy it in bulk. We will pour it in the cup till we get to 20. Some fresh oil in this thing. To match the super fresh paint job and restyle, and this puppy is good to go. All right, set that aside. Whoops, let me. Now we're gonna put a new air filter in here. Remember, remember, I bought these, I bought a hundred of these at a dollar a piece, so that's why I don't have a problem changing air filters. 
five sixteenths removes this bolt. The air filter. Never done this one before. So it seems like it's stuck on the. Oh, there we go. Durr. Had to pull up the cable. Oh, the nasty. Minty fresh new. Stick it in like so. Now remember. You have to pick up the throttle cable to stick this in. Remember, always start it by hand. Once you can find these, start up by hand. Send it home. Make sure she's in there. We'll put the old this one in here and we'll put it in the recycling pail. So this is technically paper. Funnel out. Dipstick back in. Choke on. I'm going to give her a pull. Now because this was running, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to check on oil. Clean it off nice and good. See it has air and full. Remember, if you overfill it just a little bit, it's really not the end of the world. And if you guys could see, we're right on the money at 20 ounces. Alright guys, so this is gonna be a wrap for the uh big six Toro Ninja. Recycling, mulching, 3-in-1, high vac, creme de la creme, 6-speed transmission, rear wheel drive, oversized rear wheels, self-propelled, lawnmower. Remember, we restyled this thing. It came out great. If you guys just joined this video sector, I will drop parts 1 and 2 in the description. If you guys found this helpful, you enjoyed it. Please smash the like button and subscribe. I'm open to comments, good and bad. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Pate's Performance.